Good morning from Jonesboro, Arkansas. It is 6.19 a.m. February 16th, 2023. Excuse the mess in the home office. This behind me, that's for our bathroom. We're hoping to remodel it soon, redo some stuff in it. And, you know, but anyway, I'm still one of those that use a desktop computer 90% of the time. But here's what I want to talk about. Yesterday I did a video from a Blink charging station here in Jonesboro, Arkansas. And I claimed, my claim was, that I think Nissan has mostly taken care of their battery issues. The new Nissan Leafs are still air-cooled, which is just ridiculous and silly. But they've done something to them. And Nissan claims they don't need to cool them with you know, electronically or with liquid or any of that. They say air is fine. They told why. I have no idea what the explanation is. But at first I thought it was hogwash. But now as the years roll by, I I think it's, I don't think it's propaganda. I think that they probably have, at least for the most part. You look at the first generation Nissan Leaf, massive degradation in almost all of them. Look at the second generation Leaf, which started in 2018 and not so much. Now, 2018 to now, that's only five years, maybe four and a half since it's been sold. But I guarantee you, by the time the first generation is four and a half years old, you're seeing the major problems with the batteries. There's something you can look at on the dash of a Nissan Leaf. It's a little tick system, 12 ticks, and those ticks disappear as the battery degrades. And they don't come back unless you have the battery replaced. And you can look at a Nissan if you know what you're looking for to see how much battery degradation it has even though it's not perfect because from what I understand the first tick does not disappear until 12 or 13 percent of the battery is gone now 12 goes into 100 eight and a half times you would think at eight and a half percent is one one would fall off but from what I understand it this may not be right it's around 12 to 13 percent and so you can have eight, nine, ten percent and still have a full tick, so it's not a perfect system. Even though they have something called Leaf Spy. I've never used it, but you plug the little dongle in, install Leaf Spy onto your phone, and allegedly that'll tell you exactly how much you have. And before you buy, use Nissan Leaf. I suggest that maybe you did that. I bought Nissan Leaf and didn't do it. It only had 6,000 miles on it. Gonna find out I had bigger issues. The heat pump went out. Heat, well, I actually had 4,000 miles on it, I bought it, almost five. Heat pump went out with 6,000 miles on it. And they said a minimum of four months to get the parts, even though it was under warranty. No heat, no air for at least four months. So I got something else. But um, hopefully the heat pump of the Nissan Leaf was a fluke. If you make 100,000 or something, you're going to get a bad one. I'm hoping I just got the bad one. I'm hoping it's not a problem with that car. And I haven't heard of anybody else having that problem. So but anyway, we're going to look at Carvana today. And we're going to see if I'm right or wrong. Because after the video, I thought, you know, I, how do I know for sure? I haven't looked at that many. Even though I have looked at some Nissan Leafs with 70 and 80,000 miles with full bars. No battery degradation, or at least less than 12%. And my vote after 57,000 only has about one half percent, a quarter percent at most. So, 8 or 10% would still be a lot worse than I'm getting. But, it's an indication that things have gotten better. And so let's take a look and see. Let's go to Carvana's website. Okay, I'm at Carvana's website. I've got the Nissan Leaf punched in. And I like the fact that Carvana, in the last year or two, started putting pictures of the battery health of the Nissan Leaf on their webpage. I don't know who gave them that idea. I told one of the delivery drivers once they ought to do that. But I guarantee it wasn't me that got it started. I guarantee he didn't go back and tell his boss who told his boss. It was somebody else. But anyway, let's see what we got here. Okay, we're going over to recommend it. We're going to change that to highest mileage. Can you, I don't guess you can do highest mileage. Because who's going to look for one, the highest mileage? Okay, let's go lowest mileage and we'll go to the last page. But we want to change the year to 2018. There you go. Now, let's go down here. It's only two pages, so. Let's see, the the last one is not sold. 
53,000 miles. Is that it? I was hoping to be more 70 and 80,000. Okay, well, let's take a look at it. So second generation Leaf, the highest mileage one Carvana has right now is 53,000 miles. Let's scroll down and see. Hopefully they put a, yep, right here, battery health. Look at this. 53,000 miles, full battery. One, two, three, six, nine, yes, 12 ticks. That means this car has possibly very little, if any, degradation, but at most, I would think, 9 or 10%. And again, I wouldn't buy it if it was 9 or 10%. I might would if it was 3 or 4%. And it very well may be. We just don't know. But we do know all 12 bars are there. Now, like I said, when I did this, I thought, you know, I could just uh, wind up proving how goofy I am. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's look at this one. This one, they didn't put the... Oh, yeah, here we go. Look here. Look here. 12 bars on the battery health. Battery capacity, 12 bars right there. And that one has 2018 with 44,000 miles on it. So this car has been driven for as much as five years now. Probably four and a half. And now let's go back to the Nissan Leaf. And let's look at this. Let's, check, let's get rid of this uh, mileage thing right here. <clears throat> and let's go to uh, cheapest because that's most likely it's going to be old and a lot of miles. Okay, right off the bat. Now, these, I'm not sure they're going to put pictures of battery health on the old one. But, because I never look at these. Hopefully, they are. This is the cheapest Nissan Leaf you can get right now on Nissan's website. It is nine years old and 88,000 miles. Please put the battery health on here. I want to see it. Aha, here we go. Look at here. Actually, this is excellent for one so old. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only two bars missing, which is about 25%. <laughs> see, look, this battery is full. I think there may be room for one more and 53 total miles. Uh, this car will probably get you about 55 to 60 miles. You know, 25% battery degradation is what I'm guessing this car has. That's horrible. But... For this car, that's actually pretty good. And here's something else. If all you do, if you're that little old lady in Pasadena, and all you do is drive this car to church on Sundays, and the grocery store, and maybe the lady social, and to the hayride every Halloween, if that's all you do, this is a great car. $10,600. You're probably not going to have any problems out of it. Of course, it's never, you know, you can always have any kind of problem with an 11 year old car, a nine year old car. And even in winter, that little old lady from Pasadena probably don't need but 20 miles a day. Even in winter, this car is going to get you with a heat blast and probably 40 miles, I'm guessing. And probably close, you know, 55 or so in the summer. This could be a very good car for the right person. Yep. If my wife said, let's buy this for me to drive back and forth to work in the summertime, I'd be like, okay. No, I wouldn't want her to in the winter because she lives 48 miles round trip from work. But yeah, this car with all this degradation, actually I probably wouldn't want to because I'd be afraid it would degrade more. <laughs> but if she lived 10 miles from work, 20 miles from work, or 15 miles from work, I'd be like, okay, let's do it. But anyway, I digress. Okay, let's look at the next one. Uh, let's find one with a lot of miles here. Let's see, 50,000, 50,000, 41, 78,000 miles. Now, this one is only eight years old. It's got 78,000 miles on it. I'm going to guess there's three to four bars missing, but it's just a guess. Look at here. Wow, I think it's 10 too. One, two, 10 as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's also got two bars missing, about 25%. That's not bad for as many miles as it has. You know, and still it came out by 80 miles on it, so probably 60 mile range, I'm guessing. Let's look at one more. I wish I could find, I wish I knew which ones were raised in Arizona. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's uh, let's find one, uh, maybe an older one, 2012, 2000, I think 2012 was the first year. Have we looked at this one? 2012, it's only got 51,000 miles on it. 12,000 biggins. 
let's say, whoops, battery health. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars. Eight out of 12. One, two, three, four, five, eight. That means that a third of the battery is bye bye. Bye. See ya. A third of the battery and 50,000 miles. My car, by the time it had this number right here, had at most a half, no, 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 a half, a third or a fourth or a fifth of a percent of a kilowatt gone. Third, not a percent, a third, a fourth, or a fifth of a kilowatt gone. Very little battery degradation, if any. One of the letters I read yesterday from a viewer said my car probably has none because there's been an update done on it, which increased the battery buffer a little bit. But anyway, look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if uh, it, if it originally it'd do eighty miles and now it do two thirds of that, then that's about uh, sixty to twenty, uh, fifty-two miles, somewhere around fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four miles. And look at this; it's showing a full battery. There may be room for one more there. I can't tell. Forty-five miles. So I'm betting this car in the winter in town you're probably going to get about 30 miles on it 30 winter miles maybe 40 maybe way overpriced way overpriced but here's the thing people who have not looked have not done their research are going to buy this car they're going to maybe research it should do 80 miles they're going to be getting 45 in the summer 30 in the winter, 35 in the winter, and they're just, that's it. They're going to be like, electric cars suck. All these EV haters are right. The EV slurpers are full of crap. These cars suck, and they may never buy another one. All because they didn't really look at what they were getting into. If every electric car was made like the first generation Nissan Leaf, and every company was still making them like that, I wouldn't be driving one. I'd be an EV hater. I'd be saying the idea is nice, but it's just not feasible. That's what I'd be saying. Anyway, that's about all I wanted to say. I wanted to show y'all how I believe that Nissan has made incredible strides, but there's still one big problem. Okay, the Nissan Leaf has one big problem. Even though I think they've made major strides in the battery, I think they have. I think that the battery uh, health, I think the battery, gonna, the battery, okay, let me try this again. I think the batteries are going to last a lot longer going forward in the Nissan Leafs. Enough time hadn't passed to know for absolutely sure, but I really think we're going to see some major improvements. But they've got one problem still. Even with, even if the battery problems are mostly solved, one thing Air-cooled is just not as good as liquid-cooled. There's just no way you can convince me that it is. There's no way you can convince me that air-cooled is fine. You don't need liquid-cooled, which Nis liquid-cooled was Nissan tried to do. So I'm not saying that uh, they're the uh, epitome of truthfulness. But I want to show you a big problem. Here's what I was trying to show you. Here's the problem with Nissan. They got this Betamax charging port. That's why I call it the Betamax charging port. This is the VCR, and this is the Betamax. This is staying, this is leaving. And you'll have some people who own Nissan Leafs who are delusional about these Chatamo chargers or Betamax chargers. I've heard Nissan Leaf owners say that they are not going away they're still popular. You can still find them in abundance. I'm telling you, those people are living in a delusional state, at least when it comes to their car, because that is absolutely not true. I believe it's important to face the truth, no matter what that truth is. If you're an EV hater, it's important to face the truth. The electric cars are probably here to stay. And electric cars, if you don't believe it now, at some point are going to be superior to gas cars. It's important you face that. It's important for EV slurpers to face the fact that EVs are not perfect and they've got problems, problems that will be solved over time, but there are problems right now. And the Nissan Leaf owners who say the Chattamo is fine, don't worry about it. Like I said, they're living in a delusional state. It's just not true. 
And if you're one of them, I'm not saying you're delusional totally. I'm saying when it comes to this one thing, you're you can't you are you are so wrong. You can't be thinking about it clearly. You have to be delusional about this one thing. Now, that's not saying anything about your mental capacity overall. But anyway, sometimes we do that because people, they just want to believe what they want to believe. And sometimes it's a struggle to face the truth. And all I'm saying is that in all things, we need to face the truth. And the truth is, Betamax Charger is going away. That's it. That's just it. All right, that's it. I've gotten way off subject, and that's a problem with me sometimes. I just start blah, 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 blabbing and going at it. Look at my battery health on mine that had the bad heater problem. <laughs> 4,100 miles is all this car had on it when I bought it, and around 6,000, the heater and air conditioner tore up, the heat pump. Wow. Carvana said, hey, as long as you don't have any uh, warning signs on the dash, we'll take it. So I sold it to them. I, man, this is such a nice car. I really, 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 really like the second generation Nissan Leaf. I really like it, but it's very hard to travel with the Chatham Old Charger. It's going to be harder in the future. You know, but man, I'm telling you, this was just a really nice riding car. I I, I hate that it, uh, man, look at that dirty dash. I hate that this happened to it, man. Oh, well. All right. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. Whatever. Bye.